In this video we'll discuss the difference between raw and central moments. As a reminder, a moment of a random variable is the expected value of a power of that random variable. Um, in practice, however, we differentiate between raw and central moments. So, if anything, this definition that we have just given would apply to here, to this, to this uh, notation, to this formula. Okay, because the central moment, there's one more complication uh, coming into the equation, is that in that we are taking away the mean before actually raising uh, this expression to the power. To express moments in terms of expectations is very, very easy. All you have to do is just replace k with, the, with a number uh, standing for the moment that you are looking to derive. So if I say I wanted a second moment, all I do is just plug in 2 here uh, on the left side and 2 in, uh, on, the, on the right side, and here it is. I've got my moments uh, derived in terms, of, in terms of expectations. There is just one more thing that I would like to uh, talk about before we actually do an exercise, which is you can easily recognize the raw moment by looking at the notation. If you see uh, a prime in the notation, here you see the, the little bar, then you know that you are dealing with a raw moment. The only exception to this, and this is where a lot of confusion is coming from, mean, unfortunately, which is that the first moment, the first raw moment, doesn't have a bar. So if you see a mean without anything, it's definitely at the first raw moment. If you see a mean, sorry, mu, with one, then you definitely are dealing with a, a central moment, okay? So let's do an exercise together. This exercise, all it's asking you to do is to specify for these four moments of a distribution, mean, variance, skew, and kurtosis, what moment, which moment we are de dealing with. Okay, so um, here we've got the definition, and all you have to do is just match uh, values from this table with this table above. Okay, so we've got mean, which is the expectation of x, and we know that its uh, expectation of x is sitting here, and this was the column for raw moments, therefore mean is definitely a raw moment. How about variance? Well, it looks like the variance is sitting here, therefore variance would be a central moment, second central moment. How about skew? Skew is defined as this. Now, there is a little problem here, because although we recognize this term, this term is actually sitting here, we are inclined to state that skew is a third central moment. However, it's also divided by sigma cubed. Therefore, we can't really say that it is a pure central moment. Uh, therefore, we will just call it something in between. So it's a central standardized. S stands for standardized. How, how, about, how about kurtosis? Kurtosis looks like it's sitting somewhere here. So we are inclined to say, yet again, that this is actually the fourth moment. Unfortunately, it's also divided by uh, sigma to the power of 4, and then a, um, a constant is uh, sub subtracted from, the, from this term. Therefore, we can't really say that kurtosis is actually a pure central moment. Therefore, we will call it uh, central standardized. In a nutshell, the purpose of this video was to show that although mean and variance can be easily linked to their respective raw and central moments, uh, skew and kurtosis, however, are not pure central moments. They are scaled or divided by uh, another term, and therefore we can't say that skew and kurtosis are central moments. They are central by they are, they are actually standardized by 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 sigma. Okay, that will be it. Thank you.